All right, so I have Halo in and down at 240 feet. So I'll leave him there. I'll call him to me with a nice long recall. But then instead of giving him the ball, the reward when he gets to me, I'm going to send him away again over to the place board or the top of the crate in order to receive the ball. So don't always do the same things. Mix it up. So yes, I'm going to call him to me from a long ways away, but the reward is going to come after I send him away. All right. Halo, come. a boy. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's my boy. Good boy. Halo, place. Yes. Good boy. Free dog. So you see, guys? There really is no meaning behind that or nothing special, except a lot of times what we'll do is we'll reward that recall, correct? And that's fine, but don't always do the same thing. Mix it up. So right from there, he came to me nice, as hard as he could, from a long ways away, stayed in the down for a nice long time, but then sending him away, which we really don't practice, now what I can do is I can start increasing the distance to the place board or the send away or the designated location that I want him to go further and further and further. So pretty soon, if I start working on this, we could put him at 300 feet or 400 feet in a down, call him to us, and then send him away three or 400 feet into a down, okay? And that's really good for the dog's mind. It's really good to give him something to do, okay? So he's getting to run and enjoy himself, but we're also making him think, all right? So it's just a little fun. There is no right or wrong here, guys. Get out and do different things with your dogs. Make shit up as you go. And what's going to happen is the dog's not going to get it right away. And that's going to force you to be a little creative and teach him exactly what you want. And that's dog training, people. Enjoy it. Look at this. I got this dog for a couple more months, this beautiful beast. I'm going to miss him. Get out and enjoy your dogs. They're not around that long, people. All right, guys. So I'm doing the same exact exercise with Lukey here that I just did with a Halo. Maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. But the whole purpose is you just want your dog to come as fast as they can. Not all dogs are going to be speedy fast, okay? You want everything that you can get out of that particular dog. Luca, come! Good boy. Place. Good. Luca, come. Good boy. Luca, place. One more time. Come. Very intense. Place. Yes. Good boy, Luca. Free dog. So you see, little back and forth. Nothing fancy. But you see the difference? Now he gets it. He likes to kill it and run around with it. And then he'll get down and he'll chew on it and he'll kill it and he'll chew on it. Halo's a lot lazier. Halo's a lot lot more mellow and he likes to lay around and he gets tired fast. So every dog is different, guys. But the important thing is you want to train to get the most out of that particular dog. Okay? Your goal should be to bring the best out of that dog. Okay, so no, there's no tools on him. There's no e-collar. There's no prong collar. Everyone's so caught up on using fucking tools. If you need any kind of tool to keep your dog in a down from a long distance, there's a problem. And please don't take that the wrong way, but there's a problem. Don't rely on tools. You got to up your game. Okay, you have to up it. And the only way that happens is very simply practicing a few minutes a day. Five minutes a day, twice a day, will do wonders for every dog. Believe me when I tell you. But it's going to enhance everything. The relationship, the obedience, the happiness of the animal. It just is going to, okay? A few minutes a day, work on the simple stuff, guys. And then you can start extending duration and distance and direction, uh, distractions, all right? Peace. All right, guys, again, same exercise, different dog. Here comes Buddy. Let's see how he does it. Completely different from Luca and Halo. But same distance, 240 feet. Buddy, come! Atta boy! Who's my dumb dumb doodle? Who's my dumb dumb doodle? Good. All right, buddy. Place. Place. Yes! Good boy, buddy. Good job. See, even the dumb dumb doodle. That's <laughs> that's Sophia's doodle. But you see, guys, different dog. But they all come strong. They all come hard. And they have fun doing it. You're giving them something to do. 
We don't do this. We don't practice this, you know. But, hey, don't pee on that ball, dude. See what I mean, dum dum doodle? So close to the ball. We don't practice this, right? But, they know place. They know go away. They know down. They know come. So, you use it in different exercises and you mix it up. If they already know the exercise, then you can mix it up and become more and more creative. So if they didn't know a place command, then you, this would be a little difficult. If they didn't know how to hold it down a long time, it would be a little difficult. So take the things your dogs, your, your dog's nose, and put it into different exercises, increasing the complexity and making it a little more difficult as you go. And guys, you're gonna get tremendous, tremendous results from this, I promise, okay, promise. So that's three different dogs, same exercise, but you see the one thing that they have in common is they all come with heart and desire, okay? Not because of a tool, no tools. I think Halo might have had his e-collar on because we're out here, but we don't, we're not using it. It's out here because he's out in the open. And so the other dogs don't. I don't worry about them out in, in, in the public, no matter who's coming by, you know. But Halo just turned one yesterday, still a baby. So we're always, uh, always looking to enhance his obedience around real distractions if we have to but he's he works beautifully he's just fantastic so it's there for what if get out enjoy your get your dogs guys they're not here long it gets to the end fast and then you wish you would have done more okay peace